Hey, welcome to Granddad's Reviews. Uh, I posted a picture of my editing setup that I've got uh, for doing my videos on DaVinci Resolve and someone asked what was this panel here and it's a virtual control panel for DaVinci Resolve with different panels all the way through it and I've had a few questions on where to get it how to install it and such like. I'm not going to go over how to use everything on here because I've only had it uh, a couple of days so I don't know all the ins and outs yet but I will show you uh, where I got it from and how it was installed. So if you're going to put it on an iPad you need to go to your App Store, search for Tangent Element VS and you've got a choice of two. You've got a sample and that works for one hour every day or you've got the full version which is £6.99 in the UK so you just download that and it will install as usual then you need to go to this website tangentwave.co.uk and go to products scroll along and you come to element VS and you go to application support choose your application this doesn't really m matter what you pick on here as regards the software you're going to download because it's the same software for everything but what you do get is the user manual for you that particular software so in this instance Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve and you've got your installer for Mac Windows on there and I believe you can do uh, Linux as well so you get an installation manual and the user manual we can download, which is, which is handy. So just download Windows installer and install it as any other program. And once it's installed, you will end up with Tangent Mapper. So you just start that up. And when you first start it up, you'll get this here. And if you start up the Tangent Elements on your iPad, it'll start searching. I've already done it so it doesn't... Uh, I'll show you what you have to do. Once you've started this up, what you'll see is this box but there'll be nothing in it. There'll be no picture that it's found. But what you need to do is go up to File, Panel Configuration, and then Enable Pairing. And then once you've done that, this box will populate with your computer and then you just pick that com your computer and then you'll get your panel up and running. And as it says here, the controls for Dinshi Resolve are fixed and cannot be changed. So everything that's on that panel is fixed. You don't need to run this software, this mapper again. You can, you can just close it and it'll open up every time. It's actually a service running in the background on the computer. So you don't need to do anything. And then when you've got DaVinci Resolve running it says DaVinci Resolve if it doesn't go up to your preferences control panels and then pick tangent device element from your list like so and then it will come up telling you DaVinci Resolve so this layout at the moment is your lift camera and gain on the wheels so if I move these you'll see that it'll move if you want to reset it just hit the dot and the outer ring is your global lift like so and again you can reset it there this one's your gain. And you can reset it there. The two buttons, the B bypasses the grade, and A just tells you what's on there. The next page, as you can see, it's to do with nodes. This one is a strange one. If you get, which one of these is it? 
right? Whatever you select the button changes what this KB or knob control work changes. So there's nothing on that one. But then if I hit node, actually nothing on that one. Go to curves. Now we've got curves. And then we can do, and if you'll see on the screen, on the log, primaries, we can go to curves. So just clicking on the button will change it. Then we've got curves high, curves low, input sizing, primaries. I'm going to change the contrast. I want to reset it. So all of the controls are on there. It doesn't control everything in DaVinci Resolve, but there is a other program you can download, a third party program you can download, I believe. And it's called Control Booster for Tangent Panels. They can download that. There is a free demo, which is limited, but the full one is $109. And then it will control basically everything in DaVinci Resolve. But basics for £6.99, I think it's excellent. You can run it perfectly. In fact, you can actually run it on an Android tablet. So this is, lights in a bit in a funny position, but I've got it on this small Android tablet as well. This is an old seven year tablet, so it runs on basically everything. So that's uh, my quick look at Tangent Element VS, a virtual version of the Tangent Panels. It, uh, it costs hundreds of pounds. And I say you can just get them for $6.99, $7.99 Android, $6.99 on uh, iOS. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. I'll see more videos like this. Hit that button. Till next time. See you later.